So I'm here now with Paul Green, who was one of the riders that went on this completely fabulous journey. Hello, Paul. How are you? Hi, I'm doing really well. Thanks. So, Paul, tell me a little bit about you. Where are you from? I grew up in Canada, Alberta, for most of my life. And then um, when I was like 18, moved to Milan and Paris and Germany and and Japan, and then ended up in Miami and New York. I was in New York for eight years, and I've been here in L.A. for seven years. But I started off in Alberta, Canada. So what prompted all the traveling? Uh, business. I started modeling when I was like 18, and then I moved here to act about seven years ago. So, wow. yeah. He's a busy, busy traveling man. Yeah, I've had that privilege to go around and see a lot of really amazing places on this planet. Yeah. Well, I'd say that you've just been on a, a really amazing journey. Can you tell us uh, how you got involved in this? In this film? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> My son's godmother, Ariane, is this dynamic woman. She's like an author of a bunch of books, and she's always doing really exciting things. So I called her one day and asked her what she was doing, and she said, I'm going to India. Do you want to come? And inside, everything just was like, yes, because she knew I rode motorcycles. I grew up riding motorcycles. And then everything just lined up that they didn't, they had room for me on the trip as a rider and then they didn't and the, the trip went away. And I said, forget it, I'm booking my ticket anyway, I'll come and I'll carry bags, I just need to, I know I need to go on this trip. And then once I met them, they really created an extra spot and an extra space so I got to ride and be a part of the whole film, yeah. Well, that's really cool. Yeah, I kind of bullied my way <laughs> onto it. Once I heard about it and I'd get to spend those three weeks with Ariane and and I'd had this calling for India and been feeling to go there at some point. And yeah, kind of came at me. Now, have you been, uh, I mean, were you, had you been studying meditation or Buddhism or anything like that before this? Yeah, I was involved with Golden Bridge with um, Kundalini for quite a bit. And I went on a trip, maybe for a few years. And then I went on a trip to Thailand to be a part of one of the festivals they had there. Mm -hmm. I played guitar and I played music for uh, one of the yogis at this festival there. So I've always been like around it and started yoga maybe five or six years ago. But um, this is a whole different thing. <laughs> Nothing could have really prepared you for this. <laughs> and it really accelerated my, my spiritual path in being obviously in India and being close to Anand and being in that isolated sort of like a Vipassana on a motorcycle for three weeks, 12 hours a day of uh, like silence and just the vibration of your bike and the Himalayas. So it was quite uh, a transformational time for sure. Wow, that's amazing. So what was it like riding a motorcycle in the snow? Well, I grew up in Canada riding everything in the snow. So I was really <laughs> comfortable with it, really. Like we would just always play in the snow with everything we could. Like, And so I know how to ride uh, drive cars properly on snow and on ice and I liked it and for some reason these motorbikes even though they did had street tires and they were not designed for snow or ice they handled really really well because they had narrow tires they weren't wide and like and they were light bikes so they were easy to handle they were the perfect bikes not you wouldn't think so by looking at them but they did really well the bikes were great I loved it that was cool oh that's <laughs> great that's really great so so was that the first time you also met Anand Yes, I met Anand, yeah, when I got there, and instantly, I mean, I thought he was just the coolest guy. He was really open and had a great sense of humor, and and then once we got on the trip, just trying to keep up with him was a real challenge, like, because he was, grew up on those roads on motorcycles, like, mm -hmm. and we were all trying to adjust to that intense traffic and how coming at us from all sides and Anand was just weaving in and out and we were like do we keep up with him <laughs> or do we like try and be safe so it was like it was it was really yeah that's the first time I met Anand fantastic so so this whole adventure how long did it take well it was probably a month total including a few extra days I stayed and then a few extra days before but probably three weeks uh, on the bikes um, tr tr touring through them last, like from start to finish. Rishikesh to Ladakh was probably close to three weeks, yeah. Uh -huh. Very cool. With all your traveling, would you say that this was the ultimate, one of the ultimate experiences for you? Absolutely. I mean, all the other things I've done have been like exciting and fun, but this was the most life threatening and, tr and life changing of all the trips uh, that I've ever done, for sure, by, by far, yeah. Except for. Maybe the trip to the hospital to deliver my son. <laughs> that, was pretty, 
<laughs> that was a pretty trans. That was a pretty transformational day. <laughs> but yeah, this is up there. <laughs> that's funny. That's fantastic. Um, so, if uh, if you could share with our audience one one sort of uh, thing that they could take away, one thought or one feeling or emotion that you got out of this. It's it the whole. Co- it's sort of the heartbeat of the film is replacing fear with love. And that's one of the things that Anand taught early on when things were getting squirrely and your mind was projecting all these images of you crashing and being maimed for life or dying. He showed us how very early to replace those images that your mind would create of fear and of torture of, with love. And so I taped an image of my son on, the, on my gas tank and another little picture of him up on the front. And whenever I'd feel everything contract and my nervous system would get tense from the fear, I would just look at my son and it would relax me. Mm-hmm. And that tool of just replacing fear with love, mm-hmm. I brought back with me. And I think that's an r- amazing thing that Anand and the trip taught me for sure. Wow. And what do, how old is your son? He's eight. Eight years old. Oliver, yeah. And has he seen this film? Yeah, he's seen it three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a screening at my house, and then he came to a screening in Topanga, and then he saw it one more time at my house once they edited it again, yeah. Very yeah. cool. And what does he think of his dad now? He loves it. He, 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 <laughs> he, I, it's amazing he can sit through a film like that, and like, and he's, yeah, he really enjoys it, yeah. Well, congratulations, Paul, and good luck with this film and your career. Yeah, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks.